channel today we are working on chapter 8 uh, programming challenge 13 and this programming challenge is to is called uh, alphabetic uh, telephone number uh, translator um, all we have to do is to accept a alphanumerical uh, number like this triple uh, five get food and we have to translate it to the numbers triple five four three eight uh, three six six three uh, another example would be what one eight hundred um, got chunk so we have to translate it to to numbers so let's start we have to create a scanner class in a, in a scanner uh, instance I mean um, to accept the keyboard input and um, we have to accept the user the user input by creating a string a variable scanner next line then we have to convert uh, the string to character array we will call array phone uh, to channel array then we will create a, a for loop to iterate over the array array length uh, then we have to check if the letter if the character is a letter or not we'll say if character is letter and we will pass array of i um, we have to check e each character in the array and if if the character is indeed a, a letter then we will say if um, we have to use this table this table is is the numbers and their corresponding um, letters for example uh, in your uh, telephone uh, number pad uh, number two corresponds to a uh, a or b or c Three corresponds to D E F, um, four G H I, and so forth. Uh, here nine has a uh, four letter, uh, letter uh, corresponding uh, letters like W X Y and C. So we have to check um, the letters here. We we'll say if the character is equal to A or um, the character is equal to a B or if the character is equal to C you know if these uh, if the letter equals either uh, these three uh, characters what we want to we want to replace uh, the letter to a number and we will say array of i equals 2 because a b and c uh, equals to 2 here a b c is equal to 2 and we have to do same for we have to basically uh, copy this and uh, say else if and say D E and F if those uh, characters appear we will replace it with 3 else and we will continue doing this F then G H I it would be four uh, four then array of I J uh, okay.
L. I will finish it and I will, I will be back. So I completed uh, all the if statements. Um, uh, basically, it is uh, all the same except number uh, number seven, which has uh, four letters, uh, P, Q, R, and S correspond to seven, and nine, the last number, which corresponds to W, X, Y, and Z. Uh, that would correspond to nine. Other uh, other numbers have only three letters. Um, for example, eight has T, U, and V. Uh, six have M, N, O. Uh, five, the same thing. Four, three, one. So after after we create, after we checked all the letters, now we have to uh, print it. We will use a for loop and we will say char char colon then array then we will uh, print char then we will run it and see and um, let's let's copy let's copy this uh, uh, 555 get food and let's check if this is the final result so you can see triple five four three eight three six six three here is the result that we want triple five four three eight three six six three let's uh, let's copy this and check if it gives us the correct one. So you can see what one eight hundred got chunk translates to one eight hundred four six eight five eight six five. So I think that's that's correct because like J, for example, J is in here five right and here they gave us five the first uh, first letter of chunk would be five so i think we we completed the requirement and um it's it's a, it's a fun program so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time